Okay, so what I'm gonna take you guys through right now is going to be kind of an advanced mobility routine for the shoulder, the elbow, and even the wrist in some ways. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this little weight dumbbell. It's a perfect grip to use. And what we can do is just go super slow through all of them. I'm gonna show you guys about two reps of each, but if you really want to, I'd try to work my way up to getting five of them. And this is something that you're hopefully gonna do unloaded before you even add the weight. So with the dumbbell, we wanna grip it nice and strong. Studies show that by really increasing the grip and the neural drive to our grip, we're actually gonna get a little bit more out of the rotator cuff, which is something we want during these exercises. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and just start off straight out to the side, elbows completely locked out. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go through two capsule cars, which hopefully for you guys, as I said, will actually be five. Remember, I'm moving from here, so my bicep should actually be moving and not just my wrist. So there's a big difference between getting that to actually move all the way back, all the way there. So there's two reps there. Next, 90 degree angle. Remember, you're keeping that nice and in line and I'm slowly resisting on the way down. As soon as I feel like I'm gonna shrug, I'm gonna go ahead and stop before that, pull all the way back, smooth on the way down. Okay. Making sure there's no change in my rib cage and my scapula is staying relatively fixed while the glenar human joint does the work. So there's two of those. Again, hopefully you're getting five. Next, shoulder car. As you get nice and tight, always set your positioning. Really be really conscious of your elbow not bending. You want to go super slow so that the elbow does not bend. Try not to lose anything else. There's going to be certain spots, especially the spot that I just went through. Basically this back corner right here everybody likes to kind of speed through it and get a little bit weak in that little back corner try to go as slow as you can through that way okay so there's front view why not show the side so again really forcing the grip strength to keep the elbow from bending then from there internally rotate i'm focusing on getting the movement to happen at the shoulder and the bicep representing that this is where you're going to want to drop it you can even work on holding in these positions that are very difficult and going through. If you're, you are working on holds like this, make sure that at least your last rep or a decent amount of your reps are all done fluid. Remember, we want to get that nice dynamic movement through the shoulder. Don't want you to just get good at being choppy, even though those isometrics will do a ton for us. So there's the shoulder. Now we're going to go through bicep. So what I can do, or we're going to go through elbow. So what I can do is I can get different reps of just the capsule cars here. So I'm rotating through my elbow as much as I can. I can hit it from here and go out to the side. So I'm just giving you endless options to just get just that rotation happening from the elbow. If this happens, that's my shoulder. So you should be able to differentiate between those. And that can be done at every single angle in any spot. Pick three to five of them, knock them out. Last but not least, full elbow car. I'm actively trying to turn out here. I'm all the way up, flipping over, rotating from the elbow all the way down. Unlock, rotate out, all the way up, down. Did two reps, reverse directions. Try to get as much of that flexion as possible. So I'm really trying to get as close to my shoulder as I can. Unlock, reverse curl, flip all the way over. Good. As promised, right, I can go ahead and hit wrist car. Being able to really irradiate through this and really crush the dumbbell will help a lot of people. Feel those corners that maybe they haven't been feeling unloaded. And then just so that you know, I can totally flip this over hit the opposite, so now gravity is working a little different, and it's forcing my extensors to work just a little bit more. So there's a really quick, easy, you could do this while watching football, while watching basketball, whatever you want, you're at home, you're watching something in your living room, little dumbbell, hit a couple of those, try to get five reps, let us know how it goes. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.